have breaking dress up news, Stoner Prairie. We have decided to celebrate our winter break with three all school dress up days. Starting on this Friday, we will be celebrating Silly Holiday Sweater Day. This is a day where you can find your silliest holiday sweater or just find an old sweater and put some bows and tinsel on it. On Tuesday, December 22nd, we'll celebrate an all-school PJ day where friends can wear their PJs to their Zooms or to school. Wednesday, December 23rd, we'll have our annual district sparkle day. And this is a day to wear all of your sequins and sparkles. We celebrate this day every year as a whole district the day before winter break. So if you'd like to dress up, feel free and show off your holiday sweater, your PJs, and your sparkles. Good morning, Stoner Prairie. Today is Tuesday, December 15th. No birthdays today, but today Ms. Davis will be leading Multicultural Book Club. So fun. Let's check out what books she'll be featuring this week. Hey, Stoner Prairie Wildcats. It's time for another Stoner Perry Multicultural Book Club pick. This week, we're going to read aloud the book called It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Parr. If you're interested in joining us to read this book and participate in the activity, join us on Tuesday, December 15th from 1.45 to 2.15 p.m. Check for a link to join our group in CESA where the Stoner Prairie Scoop is linked. We hope to see so many of you there. Love that book. If you'd like to join Multicultural Book Club this week at 145, we'll attach a correct link to this on the second slide of the Stoner Prairie Scoop today in your seesaw. Sorry for the mistake last week. Well, it's good news twos today, and we've got tons of good news to make each of you smile today. We sure do. Students at Verona Area High School are partnering with Miller & Sons Grocery Store in Verona to host a food drive for the Boys and Girls Club Food Pantry and the Badger Prairie Needs Network. They have already collected an astonishing 9,249 pounds of food in the first week, but the need is greater. Their goal is to collect 20,000 pounds. Stop by Miller & Sons anytime in the next four weeks to donate. We have some local Fitchburg good news, too. Some of our learners partnered with middle school students over at Savannah Oaks to do Hour of Code. Learners started with a seesaw activity with selected tutorials that middle school teams mentored virtually through Zoom. It was amazing to see how our groups collaborated to solve different coding puzzles. To explore more on Hour of Code, go to code.org slash learn. Ms. Minter wants to give a shout out to Finley, Tucker, and Nolan in her class. Her class has been starting some fun extra groups this week. One of the groups is really focused on staying active. Some of the students enjoyed the workout so much they made their own workout video and shared it on the class blog. Nice job, Finley, Tucker, and Nolan. It's so great to hear about students staying active and helping others be active too. Speaking of active, Mr. Bergeron wanted to shout out Jameer and Renaya for the amazing basketball skills they were showing. Jameer had a sweet basket and Renaya was able to demonstrate the spider dribble. That is so awesome. The good news keeps on coming. On Thursday last week, Ms. Dernan's learners were so focused and added amazing details to their writing so that the readers could really picture the information. They were so focused and willing to put in the extra work to better their writing. Wow. I love hearing about all the amazing things our Stoner Prairie students do. Well, that's it for your Tuesday edition of the Stoner Prairie Scoop. Have a great day and don't forget to be safe. Be kind, be responsible, and be a problem solver. Have a great day. 